What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best tweaks of the week. So this week I have five separate tweaks I'm going to be walking you guys through, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first tweak I want to talk to you guys about is called Everest. Now this is a music tweak that's basically going to give you a banner notification right up here at the top that's going to allow you to interact with your music. So if we go ahead and open up the settings here, this is the settings panel for Everest. Right up here at the top we have a kill switch so you can enable or disable it right there. Right here you have activator methods so you can actually activate this with gestures through activator. So you just tap on this and you can see if we scroll down right here my activator method is dragged from bottom to top along the right side of the screen. So I'll show you that in here in just a second. But going down here we have enable app shortcut which is basically going to allow you to tap on the banner notification and it's going to open up the now playing app. And then right down here we have enable support for third party applications. Now this works for third party applications. The only thing that it doesn't work with is every time that it changes songs, it's not going to give you the banner in third party apps. You can see right down here that it only works in the music app right now. So that's just something to keep in mind. Supposedly that's gonna be a feature coming soon. So we can look forward to that. Right down here we have show artwork. So if you wanna show artwork in the banner, then you toggle that on. You can also enable swipe gestures. So if you want to swipe to the left or to the right to go to the previous or next song on the banner, then that's going to allow you to do that if you toggle that on. Also, if you want to share this on Twitter, then you can obviously toggle this on right here. And then you can long hold on the banner notification to share it to Twitter. And then if you have tiny bar, you can actually change the size of the button on the banner from small, medium to large. And if you make any changes, then you can respring your device to make sure that those take effect. So now what we're gonna be doing is playing some music. So if we just tap play, we should get a banner notification right up here at the top. Actually, you'll probably have to go to the next song in order for it to actually start. So there you go, you can see that going now. And you see that we can play or pause right up there in the top right hand corner. And if we wanna to go to the next song, let's bring that back up by using the activator gesture that I've assigned. All right, so we have that going. Now we can go to the next song, just like that and we can go back to the previous song by swiping to the left. Now keep in mind if you swipe to the right, I'm sorry, not to the left, if you swipe to the right twice pretty quick, then it's going to respring your device. So just keep that in mind, or not necessarily respring, but it's going to put it into safe mode. It's gonna crash your phone. So that's something to keep in mind. Just leave a little bit of distance in between your, uh, your swipes and you should be good. Now again, if we tap on this, it should open up the application, the now playing application. And if we swipe up here again, you'll notice that we have the tiny little artwork cover right there in the top left-hand corner. Also, if we try to pull this down, you can see that we can't pull anything down even though there's a little knob right there. So that's Everest. If you wanna check it out, definitely download this in Cydia right now. Next up, we have a tweak called Up Next. So what this is going to allow you to do is cue your music. So you can do this within your music application. So if we go back here, and let's just say that we wanted to play fanboy rap next. What we would do is swipe to the left, and then you can see that we can play it next, or we can cue it. So if we tap play next, then it's obviously going to play the song next. If we tap cue, then it's going to put that song at the bottom of the playlist. So we're basically just gonna tap next here, and then if we tap now playing, You'll notice a little button right here. If we tap on that, then it's gonna show what is up next. So if we tap done, let's go ahead and add a few more songs here. So we'll swipe to the left, we'll play this next. So actually the fanboy rap should be second and Heartlight should be uh, next. So now we'll put this one at the bottom of the playlist. So when we go back and look at our list, it should be Heartlight, fanboy rap, and then just one of the guys. So we'll go back here, Heartlight, fanboy rap, just one of the guys. Now of course you can actually rearrange them right here just by dragging the little grabber right there. So that's really nice. Now another cool thing about this tweak is it gives you the ability to view what is up next right there within your notification center. So if we tap or we slide down our notification center, then you'll see that we have an up next widget. Now of course this is something you're going to have to enable because it's disabled by default. So if we tap on edit, all you need to do is make sure that you toggle on up next right there. So definitely a really cool tweak. And if you get impatient, then you can just tap on the song just like that, and it's going to get rid of whatever was above it and only play that song and whatever's next. So you can also interact with the tweak within the widget. So definitely pretty cool. And next up, we have a tweak called Boot Up. Now, I highly recommend having a tweak like this. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one, but always have a tweak on your device that allows you to quickly reboot, 
or power down or respring your device or go directly into safe mode just because it's always handy and at some point you're probably going to need that option. So if we jump into the settings here and we tap on boot up, this is going to give you the ability to obviously restart your springboard, kill all applications, go into safe mode, reboot your device or just shut down your device just by going into a settings panel and tapping on one of these. So it's really simple to use. Highly recommend checking out a tweak like this if it's not boot up. But if you want to try boot up, it is a free tweak in City that you can download right now. Here we have a tweak called Snoo Screens. Now Snoo Screens is a really cool tweak, but it does require you to have a little bit of knowledge of what Reddit is. So Reddit is basically a massive forum site that allows you to interact with other people on all different types of topics. Now there are different forums or segregated forums for each topic. So those separate forums within Reddit are called subreddits. So if that makes sense, so like let's say you wanted to talk about cars, you would go to the subreddit called cars. Or you wanted to talk about technology, then you would go to the subreddit called technology or tech. So it's basically just like that. So what this tweet does is allow you to put in subreddit links and what it's going to do is grab pictures from that subreddit and put them as your background wallpaper for your springboard as well as your lock screen. So if we go into the settings here, you can see this is a snoo screen settings panel and here are all the subreddits that we can configure. So if we tap on the first subreddit here, the first one that I have enabled is called earth porn. So what earth porn is, is basically a ton of really awesome pictures of earth. So it has a lot of really nice landscapes and basically anything that's really cool looking and high quality. This is what's going to be on earth porn. So you can enable earth porn as well. I'll also put some subreddits that you guys can use if you want to download this tweak in the description below. So you guys can have a little bit of a starter pack, so to speak, to get you guys started on this tweak. So once you set your subreddit, what you want to do is set your activation method. So my activation method, as you can see right here, is just shake the device. So once I shake the device, it's going to go to earth porn, the subreddit, and then grab a picture and then put it on my background. So now when we go down here, you can set this to your home screen or your lock screen or both. I have it set to both. Now right here is a toggle for allowing NSFW images, which basically means not safe for work. So this could be, you know, nude pictures or something that's basically not safe for work. So you can toggle that on if you want to. I'm going to leave it off for this video. And then right down here, you can actually save the photo to your library if you want to do that as well. So once it grabs that image, it's going to save it to your library if you have that toggled on. Now you can also have random image toggled on. If you don't, then it's just going to grab the very top image or the most popular image for that time and it's going to put it as your background. So I'm going to set this to random image so we can change it up just a bit. And then we also have a second subreddit set up called Pics. Now this isn't going to be probably that great for wallpapers, but I just wanted to set up two just to show you guys that we can do that. So now when we go and we shake our device, you'll see that it's actually going to change the wallpaper right here. So now we have mountains right there on the springboard. And then if we go back here, you can see if we stop playing that song, you can see that it's also taking effect on the lock screen as well, which is a really nice picture. It's decently high quality. So I think it looks pretty good. So if we shake it again, you can see that it's going to change it up to a different picture if I didn't shake it hard enough. All right, so there we go. So it looks pretty good. I mean, it has nice wallpapers in earth porn. So I highly recommend if you get this tweak for that to be at least one of your subreddits. Now I've also set up a second activator method for the subreddit called picks and that's a triple press of the home button. So let's go ahead and see what we get here. One, two, three. And it's probably not going to be great. Yeah, you can see that it's just a picture of some girl. So this is, I wouldn't say a great subreddit to use. It was just something off the top of my head that I knew was obviously a subreddit with pictures. So you can see how that works. But definitely check it out if you like to change your wallpaper up pretty often. This doesn't require any thought whatsoever. Just do the activation method and it'll change the wallpaper for you. And last but not least, we have a tweak called Slide to Kill 8 Pro. So this is basically going to allow you to interact with your app switcher and kill all the applications or kill a single application just by using either different gestures or taps. So this is the paid version and I actually have installed the free version as well so you can see the difference between the two and which one you want to get. So the slide to kill 8 light is basically going to let you allow you to enable as well as toggle on kill now playing. So this would basically mean if you're playing some music and you don't want it to kill 
the now playing application, then you would leave this toggled off. So just keep that in mind. This is what you get with the free version. With the paid version, you can see here that you get a little more options. So obviously you have the kill switch, and then right down here you have kill now playing. So let's go ahead and make sure that we are playing something right here. So we're playing some music now. And then here we have the switcher action. So what happens when you use the switcher slide down action, or what happens when you use the switcher long press action? So you can change up what they do. You can show the quick menu, you can do nothing, or you can kill all the applications. And then right down here you have icon actions. You can tap on the icon, you can long press, you can swipe up on the icon or swipe down on the icon. So you can see if we go ahead and change the slide down, we're gonna change that to show quick menu. So we're gonna open this up and then we're gonna slide down on an icon. So it opens up the quick menu right here. So obviously if we tap the little X, then it's gonna kill all the applications. So if we go ahead and open this back up, you can see that we actually still have the music application playing because we didn't toggle that on. So now let's go ahead and toggle this on. And then if we tap right here in the middle, then it's gonna bring up your control center right there. Now if we tap over here on the left, then it's gonna bring down your notification center. So that's just kind of like a quick menu right there. Now of course if we tap on this, then it's going to close out of the application because that's what we had set. So if we go back into the settings here, let's go into slide to kill a pro, and then you can see right there that we have icon tap action is kill single. So basically this allows you to kill all the applications using gestures, or you can just tap on the icons to kill a single application. That's all the options that you have right here. Kill all, kill single, or show quick menu, or do nothing. And then right here we also have the ghost button action. So what do you want the button to do? And that ghost button action, or that ghost button, is right down here in the bottom right hand corner. If we tap on that, then it's gonna show us the quick menu. Of course we can change that up to kill all or don't show it. And then also right down here we have excluded apps list. So you can set that up as well. But that's all I have for this week. Let me know what you guys think about all these tweaks in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, as always, hit that like button. And of course, if you want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, then make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.